Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, COPPA, is a law created to protect the privacy of children under 13. The act was passed by the U.S. Congress in 1998 and took effect in April 2000. COPPA is managed by the Federal Trade Commission, FTC. Hello everyone, Collector Holic here. Can YouTube's upcoming changes shut down the card collecting community? Um, complying with COPA on YouTube, you are now required to mark your videos as made for kids or not. It is important to take these steps to set your audience accurately. Now what is considered made for kids content? Per the FTC's guidelines, guidance under COPA, when deciding whether or not your channel or video is made for kids, you should think about factors like the subject matter of the video, if children are the intended audience, if it includes child actors or models, if it includes characters, celebrities, or toys that appeal to children, including animated characters or cartoon figures, if it uses language that is meant for children to understand, if it includes activities that appeal to ch children, such as playing, acting, simple songs, or games, or early education, if it includes songs, stories, or poems that appeal to children. How old is a kid? The age of a kid in the U.S. is defined as anyone under 13. Now, if you have any questions, YouTube is saying to consult a lawyer. Now, that's pretty serious. Consult a lawyer. If you set your content as made for kids, what does this mean for your channel? Some features will no longer be available. Comments, personalized ads, info cards, end screens, stories, community tabs, notification bell, viewer ability to save, to watch later, or save to playlist. Restrictions are, requi are required to follow the law. If you don't set your content appropriately, this may result in compliance issues for you under COPA or, and other laws. If you're, you are abusing or making videos incorrectly, it may result in consequences for your channel of videos. Now, when they shut you down, um, is collecting cards considered made for children? I know I collected cards. When I was a kid, actually, I didn't really collect them. I flipped them, traded them, bought them, but I never put them in books and collected them. I just had fun with them. All right, the FTC is considering fi fining YouTubers for child attractive content in addition to the child directive content that falls under COPA. The penalties for violating the rule, a court can hold operators who violate the rule liable for civil penalties for up to $42,530 per violation. Now, where'd they get a number like that? I have no idea. I think that is um, kind of crazy. But as per the FTC, YouTube will be held liable for complying with COPA. Not only can the FTC sue Google and YouTube, but also individual channel owners and video creators. Now, to me, this is pretty scary because, you know, what we do, well, most of my, you know, uh, card break-in stuff videos is mostly viewed by adults but as a child you know children I you I like collecting cards I know it's kind of expensive for children and their parents most likely have to be involved with it but who who knows who knows um, you know this community has changed my life it's helped me cope with depression, anxiety, and I met so many great people in this community. People I would have never met otherwise. I, I really love what I do. I love everything about collecting cards. I, lo I love watching other people's channels. 
watching to see what's coming out, what the next product's coming out, um, what cards are in the box they're opening, what hits they're getting, and I love showing it myself when I open stuff. You know, I've been, I, I spend eight to ten hours a day networking and going to other channels, watching videos and supporting everybody else. I would hate it would, uh, I would just hate so much if you know this rule applies to us and we get shut down or if we do set it to children then that means you lose everything you you can't make I, it's, it's just to me it's just crazy but I mean they have to it's the COPA the FTC YouTube doesn't want to be sued again. They were sued for like five billion dollars and they don't want it, which I can understand. Now I left um, some links down below the official YouTube video and another video which talks about the suing and the, f the, the whatever it was, $42,830 per video. Two, the two links will be down below. You guys should check out those channels. Now can these up coming changes shut the card community down I don't know am I paranoid maybe you guys have a great night until next time